The Minecraft sponge has got to be one of the most disappointing blocks in the game because look how much it sucks. Bruh. It freaking sucks. So I made sponges more realistic. Yeah, I don't even know why I did that. Let's make it stupid strong. So I code it so that whenever I put down a sponge, the radius doubles pretty much. So this is the radius of 210 or like the sucking power of 210 like or the the suckness so and this is 642 which was about 10 times the strength of a sponge like a normal one and this is 1965 and this is uh 6000 and holy crap that is insanely huge surprisingly my computer is still alive but that is about to change pretty soon so i'm gonna be opening a chrome tab and uh oh just from one tap, my PC is going to be explode. But wait, no worries, because we got Oprah GX. Thanks to Oprah GX for sponsoring today's video. With GX Control, you're able to limit the amount of CPU and RAM to avoid the disaster we had with Chrome. Now, look at the performance difference. You're also able to completely customize your browser with GX Mode. This is Blockified Mode. They got custom background music, keyboard sounds, opening and closing tap sounds, themes, colors of the browser, animated wallpapers, and you're able to disable and enable individual modifications. You can visit the GX store to get or create your own mod. Now, if you want to switch over from the dog water browser to Oprah GX, just go to settings, sync, import bookmarks and settings, and click import. So if you want a browser made just for gamers, go ahead and go down below and download Oprah GX today. Alright, so now, let me show you guys some more sponge madness. Bam, and this is 18,000. Holy crap, that didn't even lag. How is it even possible? My computer's like, like, really strong. I think it gained like this immunity against Element X. That's, that's really nice. And this is probably about like 40,000, not 56,000. and. An, uh, it's sort of kind of lagged. The items are floating in mid-air. Just don't worry about that. Bam! This is 172,000. Holy crap, look at those fish. That's really freaking insane. Bam! <gasps> Whoa! Alright, so, um, this should be about, like, suckness of 5 million. Bam! Whoa! Oh! So, sponges being able to suck up water is cool and all, like this, but what if it also sucks up, like, actual blocks? Well, this is what happens. This is really satisfying. I don't know why. But um, let's try to do this like underground and see what happens if it sucks up too much sand and see the sand fall. Oh my gosh, what in the heck? What? That's so cool. How did the sand just disappear? Oh, it can suck trees too. That's so nice. Can it even suck? What? Whoa, that's so satisfying. What the heck? Bam. Yo. This is suckness of 172,000 and that looks... Pretty fantastic. I'm gonna see if we can get to the point where we can uh, suck up bedrock as well. So this is half a million and uh, yo. Okay, so I don't know what the heck is wrong with my torch. Like, I'm pretty sure I modified the torch's rendering code so that they look like this. They look so fat. What? Oh, this is probably from the uh, this video, but yeah. Uh, let's try to suck up this entire thing and see what happens. So that was 5 million. Suckness of 5 million. And you're about to lose your home. You're about to be homeless. But it's okay, man. At least you don't gotta pay your property taxes. Oh, there's so much. Huh. This is 15 million, I guess. And um, this has to go to bedrock. And yeah, that's from uh, just a single sponge. But guess what? We're gonna try something even uh, stupider this time. Because I'm gonna make sponges spawn more sponges. Bam. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Whoa. 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 So I think whenever a new sponge spawns, uh, it sucks up the old sponge and makes it look like it's moving around. That is really, really freaking cool. <laughs> but yeah, let's make the sponges not be able to suck up itself. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so basically, the sponges are making its way so that it can grow further and bigger. That is really satisfying. So you know when the sponges suck up water, it destroys the block, meaning it sets the block to air. But what if it sets the block to sponge? So everything is back to normal, except for the fact that sponges generate more sponge upon sucking water. Whoa! Oh no, that is not good because... <laughs> Alright, so I fixed the code and I put a delay on it, so this should work now. 
Bam. Oh my gosh, yes. The sponges are sucking up water, but instead of creating air blocks, it's making sponge blocks, which is pretty freaking amazing. But I have a better freaking idea. So basically, I made sponges suck up water, create more sponges, and I made the old sponges disappear, and this should be pretty satisfying, I think so. Oh yes, it's working perfectly fine. So let's see, the sponges just suck up the entire ocean. So this should be way less laggier than the previous ones because the sponges disappear, or like, they do it gradually. So yeah, as you see, this is working really well. It also went down here, like, it is also destroying this water cave that used to be over there. Alright, so let's check this out from the bird's eye view. Honestly, the way sponges just disappear after it has done its job is pretty satisfying to look at. Surprisingly, every water source has dried up except for this lake. I think that is due to this lake being completely isolated from outer water source. After the entire thing dried out, I discovered that there is an ocean monument, which is a place where you can get sponges in vanilla Minecraft. So this is if every single dirt block acted like sponges. <laughs> what the heck is that? So um, as you see, the dirt block has somehow turned into a wet sponge after contact with the, the water block, which was pretty questionable. <laughs> but yeah, check this out. Wait, the water's not flowing. What in the heck is this? What? what why, why are you not flowing? Why are you... Wait, wait, hold up. My code is retarded. And did I fix it? I think yes. Oh, whoa, that is so weird. <laughs> that is so freaking weird. So as you see, whenever the water contacts with the dirt, the dirt turns into sponge, and the dirt also sucks up the water. So I think this may have a devastating effect in the Minecraft overall. So nothing's really happening right now because the dirt blocks are not updated yet, but uh, what happens if I just... Ooh, okay, this is really, really freaking weird. So what if I make the sponges a little bit stronger? I think we may be able to dry out an entire river like that. I have just loaded up a questionable wall generation. I don't even know how to explain this thing. That is not good, but I think from here, it's, it's normal biome. So um, as you see, the dirt blocks are not updating by default. So what if I do... Whoa! <laughs> Okay, minimum to 6969. I should be able to destroy this entire lake in like, like two seconds. Or not even that. Wait, no. Whoa. Whoa! So I make the sponges 10 times weaker, which is still 10 times stronger than vanilla. Because my computer is being a little crybaby. But um, this should still probably work. Uh, it's pretty slow still, but it's, it's gonna work. It's gonna... <gasps> I think it's gonna destroy the entire freaking thing. Wait, why is this like, oh, what the heck just happened? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Ooh. How, how did you survive? How did you survive, man? Well, how did this block survive? That's illegal. But yeah, as you see, I've drained this entire river. And also same with every other... <laughs> every other rivers in the vicinity. That is pretty, uh, pretty impressive, honestly. <laughs> So that's what happens if every dirt block has sponge properties. But what happens if the water block itself has sponge properties? Like, what the heck will happen? So let's go ahead and try that, okay? This is my prediction. As soon as I place down the water block, it's just gonna be turning into a wet sponge block. Wait, 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 wait. What the heck? So as soon as the water gets placed down and it flows, it turns into a sponge block, which is stupid. So I made water and lava create sponge when they contact each other, just like this. So what happens if I do set block, bam bam bam, and lava? The lava is not flowing fast enough. Okay, let's see how fast this thing is. And yeah, that's pretty freaking fast. <laughs> that is pretty insane. Whoa, 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 what just happened? And as you see, it is extremely fast and we were able to go all the way down below just like expected. What is this monstrosity? What happens if I do uh, this? Oh, I made lava be able to get sucked up by the sponges. Let's see what happens. And... <gasps> whoa! It's like an infinite fight between water and lava. It's just like the drying sponge. And you know, whenever you put a sponge in the nether, it dries instantly. And when you pour water on top of it, it's like an infinite fight. So I made water and lava both infinitely flow. And what in the heck just happened with the water? Why is it, what does it look like? Like, 
Uh, I don't know. Let's just not mention that. So the water and lava both generate sponges that suck up both water and lava. Whoa! It's creating like a barrier. Oh. <laughs> okay, so since the water and lava's flow speed is exactly the same, the wall is almost perpendicular. So lastly, if you've enjoyed this video, you probably like these videos as well. And also, do not forget to check out my musics if you want to support me as a creator. They're completely free to listen to. But yeah, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.